Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to add snow in winter to your Euro Truck Simulator 2 game. In order to be able to do this, we have to do three things. First up, we have to download the snow and winter mod files. Then we have to install them in the game. Then we have to put them, activate them in the game and put them in the right order. Let's take each one of these three tasks in order. These aren't hard, you can do it. First up, we have to download the files. Now the snow mod is made by a very popular Euro truck simulator, an American truck simulator mod creator called Grimes. And the files are too big to host on Steam. So he hosts them via his own website, which is Grimes grimesmods.wordpress.com. There's a link down below in the description. So you want to click that and go to this site. It'll look like something behind me here because I'm on the site right now. So first step is we've successfully navigated to his site and you'll see there's some tabs here, home ETS2 mods and ATS mods maps. We want the ETS2 mods. So we're going to click on that and we're on the right page. Now he has a bunch of different mods, autumn and spring and other stuff, and they all install kind of the same way. So if you want to check out some of his other mods, I recommend that as well but the one we're talking about today frosty winter so we want to click on that one so it opens up and now we're on the frosty winter page this is the snow mod page very important step we want to make sure that the mod has been updated for the current version of the game after uh, the game is updated it can take grimes a couple of weeks sometimes even a little bit longer to update his mod for the latest version of the game so we want to make sure that this number here this 1.49 we can see at the top matches the current and latest version of the game that you're running now i know that my steam insula installation is running version 1.49 because the game just updated a couple of days ago and so I can look here and see, I've got the same mod version, the mod's been updated, I'm good to go. If you're not sure what version of Euro Truck Simulator 2 you're running, when you first start the game, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the version number. You wanna check that number and make sure it matches the same number as the mod. If it doesn't, you're gonna to have to wait until the mod gets updated. Okay, so we've confirmed that we've got the right version of the game and the mod's been updated and we're on the right page. Now we want to come down and start to download the files. So we're going to scroll through a bunch of information about the mod and here we go. Here's the information what we need. If you want to make this super simple, the only file you need is this Frosty 9.7. This is the snow mod in itself. You'll know that there's some optional, notice there's some optional add-ons down below, and I'll talk about those momentarily, but let's first learn how to add, uh, download the, the kind of the main file. So there's two ways to do it. You can pay a dollar and download it that way for the 2.0 gigabyte file, or you can do it through this uh, share mod site with ads. And so we're gonna show you, the, I'll show you the ads way to do it, but by all means, um, if you wanna donate a dollar to the mod creator, he works really hard on him, so it'd be a great thing to do. But let's take a look and see what this looks like. I'm going to click on it here to download Frosty version 9.7. And now I come to the share mod site. One quick caveat. This site can have a lot of ads if you're not running an ad blocker for it, and it can take you to strange places. You want to make sure you focus on the right thing here, which is this the file says the same thing, Frosty version 9.7. You might see some ads in here if you're not running an ad blocker, and you want to click, click create download link. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to make me wait about six seconds to kind of do some other things and things like that. So we're going to just wait for that to happen. Then we get download link is ready. I'm going to click that. And now we can see your download link of file for Frosty version 9.7 is ready. I'm going to click start download. And you can't see this on the screen, but it just popped up. So it started to download and I can see it downloading kind of uh, in the top here of my browser. We're done. We've downloaded the main file. Let's go back now and take a look at some of the optional files, which I highly recommend to enhance the snow mod experience. So we're going back to the main page here. We can see that there are three add-ons for it. There used to be in the previous versions, there was a download a heavy winter file, but that one's been incorporated into the main mod now. So you don't have to download that one, but let's talk about the three that are here. First up, we have download frosty wheels. Frosty wheels will kind of make the wheels of your truck kind of look snow covered and frosty and winter like. So that's a pretty good one to add. I recommend adding that one as well. And it's only 27 megabytes, so it's pretty small. Then we have another one here called clean roads. Um, clean roads adds uh, in the base core version of the mod, all the roads are covered with snow. Clean, ro clean roads is a file you can add in addition to the snow mod that will make give the roads kind of a wet snow like sheen, but there's no snow on the road. So they've been plowed. So if you want to add, add that effect to your game, you can download that one as well. And the last one, which is usually good for some laughs, is the download physics add on file. This will make the roads slipperier. So in itself, the snow mod doesn't change how your truck handles. But if you want your truck to be slippery when it's driving and slide all over the place. It's usually good for some laps. 
for a couple of times, I highly recommended downloading the physics add-on. Now, um, these other three files download exactly the same way as the main file downloads. So I'm not going to show that here. But now we've got all at once we've gone through and clicked and downloaded all of those four files, they should go to your downloads folder. And now it's time to go to step two, which is to figure out how to get them from the downloads folder on your computer into your Eurotruck Simulator 2 game. Time for step two, which is how to install the mods into the Eurotruck Simulator 2 game. If in your downloads folder, you should have all the files that you downloaded from the share mod site. If you just downloaded the main one, you're gonna have this file here, which is frosty version, whatever it is. In this case, it's version 9.7. If you downloaded the three optional files, you should also see these three files there, which is frosty physics version, whatever it is, frosty version, whatever it is, clean roads, and then frosty wheels. You'll have those four files. And this is the installation is really easy. You want to copy those files from your downloads folder and you want to move them to this folder on your computer, which is if you look in your window, if you're using Windows, it's going to be your documents folder. You want to open that up. You're going to see Eurotruck Simulator 2. You want to open that folder up and then inside Eurotruck Simulator 2, you're going to see a folder called mod. Now, if you don't have that folder, don't panic. Just make it make a folder called mod, open that up. And then inside that mod folder is where you're going to want to paste all four of these files. Now, I'm not going to show this because everybody's computer looks a little bit differently. And hopefully you know how to move files on your computer. If you don't, you can search for that using a different video on YouTube. Now that's it. We've got all the files installed into the correct place. Now you don't want, you don't want to expand these files or either just transfer them exactly the way they are. They're .scs files, so they don't need to be expanded. Now we've successfully installed the mods in our game. We've completed step two. Let's go into our game and learn how to activate them in the game and get them in the right order. So our next step is to activate the mods and make sure we get them in the right order so they work properly in the game. Now in the bottom right hand corner, we can see again to confirm we've got version 1.49. So I know I'm running the right version of the game and it matched the mod version itself. We want to go into our mod manager, which we do by clicking the yellow button here in the middle of the screen. And this will open up the page with all of the mods that we've installed in the game. This is another check another checkpoint for us. We can see if we've installed them correctly, we should see frosty version 9.7, frosty physics, frosty wheel and clean roads right at the top here of all our lists. So we know we installed the mod mods correctly and the game is recognizing them correctly. Our next step is to activate them in the game. Now we can also see, notice we talked about the optional ones. This one up here over my head, that's two levels up, Frosty version 9.7. This is the only one that you need to make the snow mod run. So you don't need the physics one, the frosty wheels one, or the clean road ones. Those are all optional. But let's show how to install them. This is pretty easy. We're just going to click on the mod and we can click on the arrow in between the two panels here to move it over from the mods that are installed to this list of active mods that's on the right hand side. A power, court, power trick is just double click on the mod and that will move it across too. So I've installed Frosty. I've installed Frosty Physics. I'm going to double click on Frosty Wheels. I've put that in there. And then I double click on Frosty Clean Roads. And now I've got all four mods correctly, uh, all four mods installed into my active mod list. The next thing we want to ask ourselves is, do these mods in the right hand side, do they have to be in some sort of an order in order to be able to work correctly in the game? And the answer is yes. The types of mods matter a lot. And in this case, we have our um, winter mod has to go at the top of all the active mods. So our four winter mod files or however many you're installing all have to be at the top of this list. Another point to notice too is that this will conflict with other weather mods. So you want to make sure you don't use other weather mods with the snow mod. Kind of makes sense, right? You're two different things. And so, yeah, that kind of makes sense. The next question though to ask, however, is do the frosty mods themselves have to go in the correct order? And we can see right now, if we look at the active list that I've got here, that I've got all the frosty mods at the top of my load order. So they're good. I don't have to change them at all. But the question we want to ask is, do the four mods themselves have to be in a particular order? And the answer is yes. You want the frosty snow mod, this very one down here, to be at the bottom of the other three frosty mods. 
So again, we've put them in the correct order. I don't have to move anything around. If I needed to move it around, I can just click on the one I need to move around, come down here to increase priority or decrease priority, and increase priority is higher, decrease is lower. So if I click that, it goes up, and now it's in the wrong place. So I'm gonna click on decrease priority, and it goes down. So now we've got everything right. We've activated the mods. We've got the frosty mods at the top of all our mods, and we've got the frosty mods themselves in the right order because we've got the main one loading last of all the four mods. We should be good to go. I'm gonna come down to the bottom of the window here, click on confirm changes, and when we go into the game, we should see if we've done it correctly, the snow mod load up and we should have a winter wonderscape. Let's check it out. So we've loaded up the game and we can see that we've done everything connect correctly. We've got a winter snowy wonderland in Euro Truck Simulator 2. If we look outside the truck, we can see the trees and everything like that. And remember we put in, I activated the clean, ro the clean roads mod so we can see that the roads don't have any snow on them. It's just all over every place else. If I want to make the roads snowy, I'm just going to deactivate that clean roads mod. Now I also activated the physics mod, which means these roads are going to be pretty slippery. If you don't want that, you want to deactivate those. I generally take that one out after a couple of episodes because after a couple of drives because I find that I crash into a lot of things. It is very slippery. Now, the only other question I want to talk about that people ask about sometimes with this mod is, well, we got snow on the ground. How do we get snow in the air? So snow in the air is going to happen basically at the same percentage as that rains in the game. So I've now hit the escape key to go to the back, kind of the main menu here in the options. I want to come down here to the options, this wrench thing down here, and I'm going to click on this. And this is how you change how much it's going to snow in your game. You've got a gameplay option. You want to click on that in the middle and open that up. And now I've got my game settings. This is where I want to be. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I see this line here called rain probability. And it's got a number. Less means it's not going to rain as much. More means it's going to rain all the time. This is how you change the snow with the snow mod. Because in the snow mod, your rain becomes snow. So I tend to like for December and stuff like that, for the snowy months, I tend to like write about 40% and just kind of leave it there. That seems to be a pretty good amount. But this is a personal preference. You put it to 100%, you're going to be driving in snowstorms all the time. Once I've got that set where I want it, I can X out of the game. And then as I come back into the game and start to play more, that's the frequency at which you're going to get snow in the air as well. And that's it. We've downloaded the files, we've installed the files, we've activated the files, and we're checked that they're working properly. You've now got snow in your Euro Truck Simulator 2 game. Enjoy your wintry driving. If you want to see us driving with episodes in Euro Truck Simulator 2, I'm going to put a link up here to episode one in our Pro Mods career. Where we've added the Pro Mods and a few other maps to the game, and we're driving around Europe in that game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.